parking lot outside this North Omaha bar calm and clean. The owner, James Overton, says he's made changes and is working with the city to rein in his establishment. We've curtailed a lot of things and actually got a lot of things died out. And like I said, the, the officers on the scene to do a wonderful job of making sure that our patrons feel safe. The State Liquor Control Commission called in Overton to explain his security measures and why Omaha police were not called during incidents in January and March where patrons were injured. Because of multiple fights that took place, security was closing the bar and that they used uh, pepper spray. They, they are overly aggressive. He says like he's it. since fired that security company, brought in a new one. He also hires off-duty Omaha police officers. He didn't know anyone was injured in the altercations. If it's a medical emergency, I don't hesitate to pick up the phone and actually make the phone call. Overton also faces an effort by the city of Omaha to cancel his liquor license. In January 2018, Army Staff Sergeant Kyle LaFleur was shot and killed in a robbery outside of the business. There have also been numerous other disturbances requiring law enforcement, including a hit and run and a police chase July 24th that started in the club's parking lot. One neighbor who didn't want to be identified says parking issues have gotten better, but the trespassing, littering, and disturbances haven't. The neighbor says the small bar just can't handle the large crowd it attracts. Overton says he's doing the best he can to address those concerns. We do pat downs, uh, physical pat downs, we've got metal detectors, we do everything we can to make sure that the premises is as safe as possible. Andrew Ozaki, KETV News Watch 7. And no action was taken by the Liquor Control Commission. The Omaha City Council has delayed any action until November.